All right, guys, what's up? How y'all doing today? So, I'm not in Sao Paulo. I'm in beautiful Curitiba in this beautiful park. But I want to talk about my first impressions of Sao Paulo. I stayed, I stayed there for a week. And let me talk about, like I said, my first impression of Sao Paulo. So, before I even went to Sao Paulo, I've been to Brazil many times. Uh, many years ago, 13 years ago, I came many, many times. And I always did a connection through Sao Paulo. Going to Florianopolis and then traveling around that area, Santa Catarina, all that, all that good stuff. But I never went to Sao Paulo. I've always heard of Sao Paulo. I always heard it's a big city, a lot of traffic, a lot of cars, uh, dangerous, all that kind of stuff. And for the longest time, I was, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie, I was a little bit intimidated of Sao Paulo. I was intimidated by it because of that, because it's, a made, it's one of the biggest cities in the world. Uh, they say a lot of traffic, a lot of cars, a lot of movement. I'm also looking around here to find a outdoor park to do some workout, but a lot of movement. And I was like, man, I don't know if I want to go to that city. But what I found was totally different than what I expected. There wasn't that, many, that much movement in the streets, like people walking the street. I stayed in the outskirts of Sao Paulo. I stayed near an area called Via Mariana, Via Mariana, which is near uh, station uh, Santos Emigrantes. So I was about 15 minute walk from Santos Emigrantes. And uh, in that area, hardly anybody was walking. There was, usually when I walked to the Metro, I would see maybe four or five other people walking. The majority of people in Sao Paulo ride their cars or drive their cars. Even in the Metro, I went during different times in the Metro and it wasn't busy. Massive fish. It wasn't busy at all. It was almost empty even during peak times you know so that was a big surprise for me i was expecting it to be more like new york style like manhattan style is that a monkey over there hold on one second that's a monkey chilling out all right i don't know if, you, if i can zoom in on this one but if you see i don't know if you see this black animal here it's a monkey over there chilling out in the middle of the the island huh can y'all see him right here Oh, that's super cool. That's random. Who would expect to be in a city, in a major city, go to a park and see a monkey chilling out? And it's a big one too. Oh, there's more up in the tree. Oh, that's super cool, man. Okay, anyways, back to what I was saying. So I was expecting to be like more Manhattan stuff, more people in the streets walking around in the metro, that kind of stuff. But no, it's mostly, mostly cars and people driving. And so that's one thing that surprised me when I got there. That wasn't my, what I was expecting. The other thing that I was expecting, I hate to say it, but most major cities in, in, in different countries, like in Colombia, Bogota, eh, I don't know, it's in the States, New York, Chicago, it eh, is known, like for example, up north in the States, Northeast, people are a little bit more eh, direct, not as friendly, not as welcoming, that kind of stuff. Not like in the South of the States. Or, for example, Bogota, people are a little bit more cold, timid, not as friendly, not as engaging as in, for example, Medellin or Cali, right? Um, and Bogota is like the, the capital, right, of, of Colombia. I was expecting something like that, but I was surprised that people in Sao Paulo were super friendly. Friendly, like they're curious, they want to know about me, they want to know where I'm from, and hello, and very easy to, to, to start to engage a conversation with anybody a complete stranger people smiled just very friendly and also I was expecting it to be a little bit more dangerous than it was now I'm not gonna say it's not dangerous there it is dangerous you gotta be careful you have to be careful with uh, in certain areas you go to for example in the old old city center of Sao Paulo where all the um, yeah, it's called the old city center. That area can be dangerous during the daytime and especially at nighttime. Do not go there at nighttime walking by yourself. I went during the daytime by myself the, the second day I was there. No, the third day I was in Sao Paulo. And it was sketchy. It was more intimidating than downtown Medellin. And the reason why, but at the same time, visually it was more intimidating. But at the same time, I felt less afraid someone would come up and try to rob me than I would in Colombia, for example, when I lived in when I lived in Colombia, because 
how can I explain this? It's visually more intimidating because when you arrive, unfortunately because of the pandemic, because of whatever happened with the elections, I don't know, five years ago in Brazil, a lot of the businesses in down in that area are closed. So it's many businesses are closed. There's a lot of homeless, unfortunately, uh, situation in that area. So a lot of homeless people in the streets, they have tents, uh, not very clean. Like I went to the station, say SE with the exclamation. I went to that station and right when I walked out, man, I looked around, I was like, oh man, dude, this is kind of intimidating. And the smell, it smelled really bad. It was smelled like feces and urine, overwhelming it, because of the homeless situation. So that area is can be sketchy. Uh, I talked to a few Brazilians, a, a, couple, a couple of my Uber riders, Uber drivers, and uh, some other people, and they told me that area as well as well is dangerous to where they would um, like five guys will come up to you and rob you and be, and beat you up for your stuff, that kind of thing. And I want to make a video about safety in Sao Paulo in, in another video. I'll talk more about that, but. Other than that, outside the city center and other areas I went to, it felt safe. Like, um, Avenida Paulista, even though I took a tour, I took a tour, the free walking tour, and the tour guide said, you know, put your cell phones in your pockets, don't take it out in this area. He told me, he told us in certain areas, you know, to be careful. But again, I've lived in Colombia for six years, and to compare, it's more sketchy in Colombia. It's more more likely that someone will come up on a motorcycle and snatch out their cell phone from your hand than over there. So, and again, I'll make a video on, on safety and another video was my first impressions. Uh, it wasn't as dangerous as I expected it um, to be. And uh, once again, that's coming from my perspective, living in Colombia, not someone maybe living in Kansas. I don't know, where, where's the city? Uh, in the suburbs of some wherever in the United States where nothing happens, right? And then if you go to Sao Paulo, you're gonna feel it's very dangerous. If you're coming from a, a major city or a place that's known to be sketchy, it, it'll be kind of not so much, if that makes sense. Let me know if that makes sense. What's the other thing that, my first impressions. The food was amazing. I always, I knew that the food, Brazilian food is amazing. It just is, especially, especially the desserts. Brazilians know how to make desserts, man, especially cakes. Their cakes are amazing. Hopefully I won't gain too much weight while I'm here, but I've been eating a lot of cakes, especially chocolate brigadeiro cake, my God. Anyway, so that's that's great. The, the food, the people are amazing. And walkability is good in Sao Paulo. I'll make another video about that as well, but walk, I was able to get around, walk and take the Metro. And I'm sure if I would learn the bus system, I could have got everywhere in the city. So those were my first impressions. I was delight, delight, delightfully surprised. I was also surprised about the um, the cost of things. Things are expensive. Uh, you eat lunch and it costs 30, 30 uh, hial, or about $6 to 50 hial, which is around $10. So six to $10 for a lunch or more, you know, depending on where you go. So I was surprised by how, how much it cost here. And look at the baby monkey. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, I'm, I'm happy I went. Uh, China, uh, Japanese town, um, Liberdaji was super cool. Right when you leave the Metro, you got the smell of uh, Asian food, like right when you left the Metro. And I went on a Sunday, so on Sundays, they set up shop and they sell like Asian street food right outside the metro. Super cool, highly recommend it. Mm. And there you go, so yeah, let me know guys, if you guys been to Sao Paulo, what you guys thought. And I'll keep on making videos on, on these topics about Brazil. And I'll also make some videos on comparisons, Brazil and Colombia. All right guys, see you next video, ciao, ciao.